It happens in a fishing village called Ushimado in Japan, and、uh, it's hard to explain this movie. <laughs> ここまで入っとったもう自殺しようもって自殺する気でおばさん私が生きとってもダメじゃWe visit this town and we meet、uh, some old folks.、Uh, one of them is 86 years old, fisherman, still fishing alone on a small boat. And、uh, another character is 86, 84 years old,、uh, uh, Kumi san. She invades, invades into a frame and、uh, she tells her life stories. And also, we meet, some, we, we meet a lot of cats.、Um, it's hard to explain this film. <laughs> If you see it, you know what it is, but、uh, it's hard to explain. Well,、um, I call my films observation of film series, and、uh, when I say observation, it is about looking and listening.、Um, and、uh, that's what's lacking, I think.、Uh, even when you are making documentaries,、um, I mean, I used to make TV documentaries, and、uh, when I made that, you know, I used to. Have to do a lot of research beforehand, and、uh, I, I even wrote a detailed script before I s h o o t i n g And、uh, I just pick and choose whatever that fits to the script. And I'm now really looking at the reality in front of me.、Um, and, uh, and that kind of attitude is everywhere, I think.、Uh, Not only in the filmmaking, but also regular life. You know, we decide something, we have a plan, and、uh, we, instead of looking and listening, we just cherish that. And,、uh, but、uh, I'm kind of going against it. Because the reality is so rich, and、uh, you can learn so much from it.、Um, You know, what you plan and what you conceive in your head is、uh, limited.、Um, and、uh, oftentimes it's not so interesting. <laughs> and、uh, I'd like, to, at least for me, at least me, in my, in my imagination, is poorer than the reality itself. You know, re reality is so interesting that, you know,、uh, Why do we ignore it? <laughs> and also, you know, when you want to solve problems, you, you need to first look at the reality and analyze and、uh, see what's going on. And also, hear, listen to people who, who have problems or issues.、Um, without that, you know, we cannot come up with a real solution, too. So, I think it's really important to, to look and listen. That's what's beautiful about documentary filmmaking. You, you aim your camera to real people. And、uh, it's like、uh, 
uh, when you build a fiction film, you you are building everything from scratch. But uh, you know, we documentary filmmakers simply aim a camera to real people and uh, make a film out of it. Um, uh, although it's it's really int- you know, it's really exciting because of that. At the same time, I need to be very responsible. I feel I need. Uh, I, uh, about the images of these people because they are real. In that sense, yes, I don't know if uh, <laughs> it could be comparable to Godard or, or people you mentioned, but uh, yeah, I'd like to, uh, well, the method and the philosophy um, is something that, um, it is the, it's the core of the, of the of the creation, I think you know, um, it's how you look at the world and how you approach the world in front of us, and um, everybody should come up with his or her own way to approach, and uh, this observational approach happened to be to be something I feel good at and uh, I feel I feel good at uh, I'm good at you know this way of documentary filmmaking so and uh, it fits me and uh, um, it's hard to do something else actually <laughs> rules are something that I can return to um, when I'm shooting or I'm editing or whatever I'm you know when I'm working oftentimes and I go like sometimes I, I'm, I get confused right and uh, when I have these rules it's it's a, it becomes a reminder um, where I started so I can go back to the basics so I feel actually freer by having these rules Um, I can you know because of these rules you know I can go whatever I want wherever I I want and I can come back (laughs) so I feel liberated actually uh, because of that and uh, it's a yeah, it, it, it's, it might sound contradictory, but it's true. We, uh, you know, I think, uh, um, I feel at least like I'm kind of like at the front line of, uh, of uh, creating something unconventional um, uh, or challenging new approaches. To, to movies and uh, um, it's not necessarily accepted you know widely accepted by the society but uh, it's like uh, you need one monkey uh, which is which is behaving differently <laughs> right to to find something new and that's exactly I think uh, <laughs> the meaning that uh, we make movies uh, and a diversity diversity of movies um, is I think it's important for even the traditional uh, mainstream movies uh, uh, cannot sustain itself they they need to they need to take new ideas and new approaches from somewhere else and uh, yeah even for the for that kind of culture, you know, the, you know, to have this kind of alternative films is very, very important, I think. Indian Sea will be, will go to many, many different festivals, so I need to go there, and also it'll be released in Japan next, next month, so in cinemas, so I, I, I'm, I'm in the middle of promotion. And also, I just finished, uh, at the same time as England Sea, we have another film called The Big House, which we shot in America. In America. And uh, this one also, I need to promote it, so I'm, I'm quite busy. <laughs> and also, I have another new film already shot in Detroit, 
Uh, also, I ha I started shooting a new film in Japan. Um, so yeah, I, I'm a little bit overloaded. <laughs>